Hi, in this video, we're going to see how to solve a system of equation using matrices in MATLAB. So let's assume two different equations with two variables in this video, and then I will show you guys two different ways to solve these equations in MATLAB. So first, let's assume that we have two different variables, x and y, and two equations here. Uh, we can have multiple, but this is just for an example. So here are these two equations, uh, and then we can write it in a different way like this, where the coefficients are highlighted here. So you can see uh, where there was no coefficients, we can assume that is one and the others um, are there. So we can we can write the negatives in a, in a different coefficient and put a positive there. So we can write in uh, in this format and we can say that these are the coefficients for the x and y. In case we have three variable equations, so x, y, z, and we have three different equations for that, then we can, uh, we can put another equation here and we have to define the matrices in that way. So um, if we don't have any variables, then we'll put a zero there. Okay, so we can write this thing as A matrix, I'll def I, I define A, just a number, uh, or just a, a variable, and then you can see uh, the one here, five here, and then three and negative one. So we have written these uh, coefficients in a in a matrix way. It's a two by two matrix. If we have if we uh, if we have three equations, then it will be a three by three matrix, and so on. And for these right hand side coefficients, we can write another uh, vector, column vector B, which is nine and eleven, with these two elements. So let's go and see how can we write it in the original way. So we can write it this a times the vector x and y and put the b, ve b vector here. Now if we do the matrix multiplication, we will get back exactly the same two equations we had before. So we just rearrange these to represent all these coefficients in a matrix or vector way. Now if we uh, write it in an equation format, this is ax equals to b. We have to solve this equation by solving x in MATLAB. So here a is the matrix, x is the vector that contains x and y elements, and b is the vector, column vector that contains the 9 and 11, the, these two vector. Now um, if, if we have, as I said, if we have different uh, number of elements or different number of variables, these, these, these will increase but this equation format will remain the same. So now we just have to solve for x. So in MATLAB, let's see how can we define these matrix. So the A matrix has 1, 5 in the rows and then we have a next line and 3, 1. So we'll write 1 space 5 and then put a semicolon here and then put 3 and negative 1 here. So um, as you can see that semicolon represents a new line or the next uh, next row. So uh, um, if you want to know different ways to represent an array, I'll put a link below where I define multiple ways to how to uh, write these arrays. Um, so let's put the B also. The B is, uh, the nine element is one, the first row, and then we put the semicolon, and the 11 is, 11 is the next um, column. So this is how we will define these in MATLAB. So let's jump back to MATLAB and see how to solve these equations. Okay, now I have opened MATLAB and saved a script. Now we will define those matrices and solve the equations using two different ways. So let's just define the matrix A here. So if we go back, um, if we see the elements, it was 1, 5. And then if I put a semicolon, 3 and negative 1, this is our A matrix. And I'll put a semicolon to suppress the output. And the B was 9, semicolon, 11. So this is a column vector and we have defined A and B. So the first method is to use left division. So what do we mean by left division? So um, it's a, the normal, normal division is the right division, this one, which is also called a backslash. If we put this one, let's say if we put um, 
5 divided by uh, 5, it should produce a value of 1 because it's just a division operator. The, the left division is actually um, this one, which is the forward slash. So this, what it does is that it can, it can take the MATLAB matrices and do an element-wise operation and solve the vector x that we talked about before. So we will do this x di uh, left division and solve it. So let's just say our uh, result res is the uh, vector uh, is the variable that we define, and now we just have to um, put these a and b and solve the solve the equation. So first we'll say a left division b. Okay. So what it will do is that it will take a um, and divide it by b and we will have the result for the x vector. Now let's just run it and see what's the result here. So if we run it, the res variable result has two elements, x and y, so we have 4 and 1 as our solution. So 4 is for x and 1 is for y. So if we, um, if we use this left division method from here, we can see the solution of our system of equation is 4 and 1. Now let's the other method that we talk about, the second method. Second method is to use the command linsol. So we'll, we will uh, use this command called linsol to solve a system of equation using matrices. So we can type help and see what linsol does. Um, if we do that, and then you can see there's um, linsol A and B. It, it asks for two different matrices and then we can solve it. So um, I'll just use it and see if I can solve the exact same equations using a different command. So I'll say res1 as another variable and then I'll use this linsolve a comma b. So I'll put this a matrix and b column vector and I told it to solve uh, this system of equation ax equals to b for the x variable. Now if I just run it, you can see it generated the exact same 4 and 1 solution. So here in this video we have solved these two equations using for left division and secondly using linsol. We can use either of them to solve system of equations in MATLAB. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.